Hey guys, ANA here. Recently, a few weekends ago, I had the privilege of making a weekend trip to Northern California, which was my second time visiting the two major parks in the San Francisco Bay Area. Those two parks happen to be Six West Discovery Kingdom and California's Good America. These two parks have great coasters and attractions, and are more than worth the trip. This is also in addition to Gilroy Gardens and Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, which I had the chance to visit last year as well. But my home parks are in SoCal. We have some amazing parks down here, including the likes of Disneyland, Magic Mountain, Knott's Berry Farm, Universal Studios Hollywood, and the list just goes on and on. But if you're looking to see which area you want to visit for your next coaster trip, which part of California do you visit? Well, I'm here to answer that question today. To compare the two areas, I will have 12 categories they can compete in. Those categories are based on the types of attractions they excel in. The categories in question are overall coasters, dark rides slash themed experiences, wooden coasters, steel coasters, launch coasters, inverted coasters, other coasters, flat rides, family attractions, water parks, food, and things to do in the area. What I try to do with these categories is make niche parts that one area might excel at while the other does not. I will have a table on the screen so you can keep track of points. And unfortunately, San Diego will be excluded from this list, so SeaWorld San Diego will not contribute to SoCal stats. Alright, enough blabber, let's get into it. First up, overall coasters. Now this might be closer than you think. NorCal has a pretty stacked top 5, with Joker, Railblazer, Gold Striker, Flight Deck, and Medusa. But SoCal has the absolute quantity. I've gotten only 23 of my 63 credits from NorCal, and that's not just kitty credits. Magic Mountain literally has just as many coasters as NorCal. Nearly. It's just not fair. And it's not just the quantity, Twisted Colossus and X2 crap on North Cal's top 5. Although Railblazer is better than Wonder Woman, SoCal is just gonna have to take it for the first point, 0 to 1. Second point is for themed experiences. Now, if it wasn't for Disneyland or Universal Studios Hollywood, this would be a fair match. But SoCal absolutely dominates in this category just for those three parks alone. Even Knott's Berry Farm has more themed experiences than all of NorCal combined. This category isn't even close, an easy win for SoCal, 0-2. Third is Wooden Coasters. Now finally we have a fairly even match. NorCal has Gold Striker and Big Dipper, while SoCal has Ghost Rider and Apocalypse. Now this could change for some, but this point actually goes to NorCal. Gold Striker for me has a slight edge against Ghost Rider, and some enthusiasts rave about Giant Dipper for its minimalist restraints, janky airtime, and wild laterals. I personally prefer Apocalypse, but I'm going to use the public opinion for this one. The point for best wooden coasters goes to NorCal, 1 to 2. The fourth point is steel coasters. Again, this is just unfair. SoCal absolutely dominates. They have Twisted Colossus, X2, Wonder Woman, Tatsu, and Accelerator when it's open. The only thing NorCal has going for it is the Joker and Railblazer, which are both amazing, but they just can't compare to the behemoth of SoCal. Point for best steel coasters go to SoCal, 1 to 3. Point 5 is for launch coasters. And again, this is just sad. NorCal cannot get a break right now. The only launch coaster NorCal has is the Flash, and who knows if it'll even be open. So again, Accelerator, West Coast Razors, and Incredicoaster dominate over the Flash. Point for best launch coasters go to SoCal, 1 to 4. The sixth point is for inverted coasters, and finally, NorCal pulls in for a point. Flight Deck competes with Silver Bullet, and while Silver Bullet has an amazing setting and floating aversions, Flight Deck just has a more intense and whoopy layout that just leaves you breathless every single time. And in my opinion, the Flash is actually superior to Batman. I love the hang time on that unique roll, and the launch is super punchy, and that spike in the back row absolutely slaps. Point for best inverted coasters go to NorCal, 2-4. Point seven is for variety coasters, something different. NorCal brings only Railblazer, Patriot, and maybe Flash, but SoCal destroys all of them just with X2. And I guess you could say X2 is SoCal's X Factor. Anyways, SoCal also has Tatsu, which completely overshadows Patriot and the Flash. So again, the point for variety coasters go to SoCal, two to five. The eighth point is not for coasters, but flat rides. NorCal brings Drop Tower, Wonder Woman, Skyscreamer, and maybe Delirium, but even then, SoCal dominates. SoCal has literally the second tallest drop tower in the world, with Lex Luthor, and then another behemoth of a drop tower with Supreme Scream. You then also have clones of the Pendulum Rides in NorCal, with Crazanity and Lava Revolution. 
but then you also have others like Soul Spin, Wipeout, and Teen Titans, which make up the quantity of thrilling flat rides in SoCal. So yet again, the point for flat rides goes to SoCal, 2 to 6. If NorCal wants to tie at this point, they would have to get every single point. It's not looking good though. Point 9 is for family attractions. NorCal actually puts up a good fight with the entirety of Gilroy Gardens, some of Santa Cruz, and an extensive Camp Snoopy area, and some animal exhibits in Discovery Kingdom. But still, SoCal has a little bit of tricks up their sleeve. You see, there are some small parks in SoCal. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're called Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood. Just with those two parks, it's no competition. But SoCal rubs it in even more with Knott's Berry Farms Family Attractions, Castle Park, Adventure City, and Pacific Park. So with an absolute landslide win, the point for Family Attractions go to SoCal, 2 to 7. Point number 10 is for the best water parks. Now, I've only been to South Bay Shores, but from what I've seen of Silk City and Hurricane Harbor, NorCal's offerings are superior. South Bay Shores looks super well kept and clean, and NorCal also has Hurricane Harbor to back it up. Silk City and Hurricane Harbor down south look pretty average, so I'd bet NorCal takes this point. Point for water parks goes to NorCal, 3 to 7. Point 11 is for the best food offerings. Now, this is closer than you think. Disneyland and Universal Studios have some amazing stuff, but California's Great America's food was really good as well. But the two Six Flags Park make this an even closer match, as they both are absolute crap. Magic Mountain and Discovery Kingdom's food are painfully average, so I'm not even going to have them in this equation. Still though, Disney, Universal, and Knott's carry SoCal in this category. The point for the best food goes to SoCal, 3 to 8. The last point doesn't relate to coasters, food, rides, or the parks at all. This point is for the best area of California. This point is for the people going on a family vacation and maybe wants to hit up a park or two, but it's really there for the tourism. And so, the better area of California goes to... NorCal! Yes, I think that the Bay Area is far nicer than Los Angeles. Downtown LA is beyond overrated, and Hollywood is glamorized beyond comprehension. And while San Francisco isn't the nicest either, they have some nice parks there, and downtown is far cleaner. There's also some amazing hiking spots and tourist destinations there too, and the Golden Gate Bridge is absolutely breathtaking. So the final point for the best tourist area goes to NorCal, 4 to 8. So, now you know. SoCal is far and away the best area in California for amusement parks. With Disney, Universal, Magic Mountain, and Knott's all within an hour and a half of each other, NorCal has nothing else to compare. But if you're just a tourist looking for a good time, and if you happen to be into inverted coasters, wooden coasters, or water parks, I would highly recommend Northern California. So, that's it. Thanks for watching the whole video, this was a pretty long one. And if you enjoyed, I would appreciate a like or even a sub. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.